Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and give a first impressions on the Galaxy S10 Lite. So what is the S10 Lite, since we just had the S10 released a year ago? And really, Samsung's approach with this phone is to give you premium specs and a premium smartphone experience, but at a lower price point. When the Galaxy S10 came out last year, it retailed at $1,000. I personally purchased this phone off of eBay from a third-party seller for $600, so expect this phone to be in the $550 to $600 range, and I would expect this device to start shipping out before the release and shipment of the Galaxy S20 and new Samsung phones coming in February. But let's go ahead and get into the device so you're not staring at a box. We have the prism blue color here. And this is a global model, so wherever you buy this phone, it does not matter. You're going to get the SMG770F dual SIM. It's either 6 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm not quite sure which one, but we'll find that out once we jump into the phone. Oh, wow. I'm already excited because it looks to be the same blue color as my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, but we'll put that aside before I get too excited. Let's see what else we get in the box here. Now the first thing on top here I'm super excited about is the super fast charger because this phone supports the 25 watt super fast charging that you would find on the Galaxy Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. And yes, it lives up to its name. It is super fast. So I'm super excited to use that. We also have our black type C to type C cable. And as far as earbuds go, let's check these guys out. Seems to be pretty nice. So interesting variation here of the earbuds that I haven't seen before. We have this clear colored silicone tip that'll rest inside of your ear. It is different than the Galaxy Note 10 earbuds you get. It's this more softer material and also a differently designed earbud altogether. It looks to be more premium than the offerings of the Galaxy A51 earbuds. These were very cheap when I tested them. So later in the video, we'll give these a listen and see how they perform. And on the reverse side of the lid, we have an extra pamphlet up here. It seems to be pretty thick. Maybe we got a case. And I'll mention too, we also have the SIM card ejection tool on the outside. And yes, we do get a case included, have our instructions. And here is our case, similar to the case offered with the Galaxy A51. Has a little bit of texture to it on the inside, but it's smooth on the outside. And it has the slightest of a tint to it, so it's not a completely clear case. But we will try that on the phone a little bit later. So that's everything that comes in the box. Now let's focus our attention on the Galaxy S10 Lite. So, wow, yes, okay, it is pretty much the same color as the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which I'm very excited about because I really like this color. It actually shines a little bit more. It might be a brighter tint of that blue. Very excited about this color offering on the S10 Lite. I'll just leave that there for a point of reference, but let's go ahead and peel this off. Okay, so the first compromise worth mentioning is that this has a plastic back opposed to the normal glass back that we might be accustomed to on more premium devices. And it has the weight of a more premium phone too. It's not super lightweight or anything. So in terms of feel, it definitely feels premium despite having the plastic back. Now following a recent trend, we have a pre-installed screen protector on this device. And I know this is gonna annoy people, but I'm gonna take off that screen protector because personally, when using the gestures at the bottom of your screen, you hit that screen protector every time and it's just not smooth, it's very rigid, and just doesn't give a nice experience when using the phone. It is a very thin and flimsy screen protector, so if you do want a screen protector, I would recommend buying one off of Amazon or elsewhere online for cheap. We have our micro SD card slot and our SIM slot here on the left side. And then on the right side, we have our volume buttons and the power button. But let's go ahead and boot up the Galaxy S10 Lite and take a look at this 6.7 inch display. 1080 by 2400 pixels, 20 to nine aspect ratio, 394 pixels per inch, always on display, HDR, Super AMOLED Plus display. Also right off the bat here, I can see a very similar sized hole punch at the top as the Note 10 Plus. In my Galaxy A51 review, I did make the point that the hole punch seems to be significantly smaller. It looks like the camera is the same size, but there's this extra little black looking bezel around that hole punch. So definitely something to keep in mind. Something else we'll get a good look at right now 
is that the S10 Lite has a 6.7 inch screen, like I said, and on the Note 10 Plus over here, we have a 6.8 inch display. So just the slightest bit of a difference. And of course on the Note line, we have that boxier shape and the more rounded shape on the S line. All right, so we're still transferring a few apps over and stuff, but here is the Galaxy S10 Lite in its full glory, 6.7 inch Super AMOLED Plus display, Android 10, One UI 2.0, I just tested out a few apps and everything opens and closes super smoothly. So while we have those last few apps transfer, the first thing I wanna check out is the audio quality on the S10 Lite. So I'm just gonna jump into a video here. We'll go to our latest review. So Samsung's Galaxy A51 is the latest addition to Samsung's mid-range starting with price. At the time of this video, the Galaxy A51 shown here. Okay, so if you didn't notice there, we just have the bottom firing speaker here and an earpiece on top for calls. But as far as the audio goes, just the bottom firing speaker. It gets pretty loud, but when you're expecting that premium experience from your phone, the speakers are not giving you the absolute best that I've had and tested. But something that seems to be the case with any Samsung device is that it's usually some of the loudest volume of any other phones that I've used. So that bottom firing speaker, it is just the one speaker, but it does get loud. And for me, just watching YouTube like right here, it definitely suffices. And I'll just roll a little bit more of this video here to show you how that hole punch may interfere with things you're watching or things you're doing. And since we're still talking about audio quality, it is worth mentioning that there is no headphone jack on the S10 Lite, but they do include the Type-C earbuds in the box. So I'm gonna give another quick listen with the earbuds on and give you a quick analysis on what I think of the earbuds. I'm actually very impressed with the earbuds here. So you won't need to go and search for another pair of earbuds if you are gonna pick up this phone. I just really appreciate when the headphone jack is gone that they offer earbuds that plug into that type C port. Also, as I promised earlier, I would check this. This device has six gigabytes of RAM, but this device will also be shipping with eight gigabytes of RAM. So if you want the eight gigabyte model, I would hold out on that and wait until it's shipping to your country. Right now, if you buy this third party or elsewhere, you're probably going to get the six gigabyte RAM device. All right, next, we're gonna take a quick look at performance by playing a game. So as expected, this thing is running like a champ, super smooth performance. I mean, we're just on Call of Duty Mobile here, but this has been running buttery smooth. I mean, we do have the Snapdragon 855 processor, so I wouldn't really expect any less, but absolutely no lag at all when gaming and super smooth performance. Also something I wanted to see really quick is if the S10 Lite supports DeX. So we'll go ahead and plug in and nothing happening. Okay, so that's pretty disappointing. This has the specs to have DeX on it. So I really don't know why they just didn't throw DeX on this. The DeX support not on here really is a head scratcher. Also taking a look at the facial recognition here, it is super fast, gets you into your phone right away as you can see. As soon as that facial recognition initiates, it's right into your device, super fast, super quick, super responsive. And that kind of paints the picture for my first impressions of the Galaxy S10 Lite is that I am very impressed with this phone. I'm very happy with the specs it provides at the price point it's currently selling at, $550 with that Snapdragon 855, the Super AMOLED Plus display, the super fast 25 watt charging, a 4,500 milliamp hour battery, which I never mentioned until now, and so many other premium features in addition to the Samsung One UI 2.0 for a great software experience and everything is just super smooth. It does lack some of those premium flagship features like wireless charging. We don't have the water and dust resistance that you would find on a more premium phone. The back is plastic, but it's a great looking phone. It has that same really nice blue color as the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Also a quick look at the case here on the phone. You can definitely see all those great colors. And yes, there is no headphone jack, but the earbuds provided in the box do sound good. And I also know a main point of this phone is that 48 megapixel, super steady, optimal image stabilization camera and the macro lens camera and the wide angle lens camera as well. And I'm really excited to bring the full review to you guys on this S10 Lite. So let me know what you think of this device initially in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today and hitting that bell icon for notifications. 
Hope to see you guys around for the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.